G'day fishers, I'm off for, oop. We're actually just getting the boat there. I was gonna make a video to show how I catch eels. Or just a little tip that I do. So I'll put a stake in the ground. And instead of having my line going straight to the hook, well there we go, we're getting a run now. I put a 90 degree angle in the line. So if you're scratching your ass and not concentrating, there it goes now. You'll know that you've had a bite because then your line will go straight. That's just a little tip I came up with years ago after. There you go. So if your line was straight, you wouldn't know you had a bite. But there we go, I'm about to catch one. I'll pause it. There we go, I've just got a thumper. She's a good one. Um, I just gave it a couple of taps to put her out. Um, I was gonna say, yeah, I fish quite heavy, 40 pound hand line straight through. You know, whatever size sinker you need. Uh, I think I've got a 1-0 bait holder hook on there. Pretty much just go hard on them, because otherwise they'll bust you off. The first one busted the 30 pound off, but um, yeah, give them a couple of taps. Uh, what else can I tell you? I'll get him in the bucket. Yeah, I'll line my bucket. There's already one in there. I'll line my bucket with a garbage bag. Um, they make a bit of a mess. So I'd rather not have to clean my bucket after many uh, sessions catching them. Or I've learnt, you know, they're slimy bastards. It's best not to get it all over you if you don't have to. I'll actually, he swallowed the hook. I'll just cut that hook off and dump it in the bucket as is. I'm not, you know, I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty, but for a five, 10 cent hook, I can't be bothered. Anyways, um, what else did I want to tell you? Uh, I don't know, that's about it. I might do a video tomorrow night actually, if we hook up a shark. Or right, I better rebait this and get it back in the water. Thanks for watching, happy fishing. Here we go, we just hooked up another one. That lime was up in the tree. There's going to be something on there because it's gone tight. Um, yeah, it seems they like when it gets dark. I'll just show you what my um, bait looks like. I found using the heads the best part. Just go through the eye twice and just have your hook sticking out. I've gone to use using a piece, I don't know, it's about two inches long. Um, I like using the head because the head always stays on if everything picks it. Oh, it's the eel just making noises. Um, yeah, if everything picks away the guts and stuff, there'll still be something on there. And, Eels are not fussy, they'll eat anything. Alright, I better get back to it. I don't have a head torch and it's about to get dark, so I don't really want to use my phone. But um, I'll stop waffling. Thanks for watching, happy fishing. Here's another little tip, guys. Stake your um, hand line and then chuck a little bell on there. I'm sitting my bag's over there, so I'm eight metres away. But if you don't have the bell on there, you won't hear them running. And you probably, you know, only got a 50-50 chance if you don't set the hook kind of thing. Like, often, you know, they'll just pick at your bait, mouth it. So when you hear it running, just come over, wait till it goes tight. And then just yank it, and you should hook up. Actually, um... And he just lipped one, and I 100% wouldn't have got it if I didn't set the hook. So uh, probably two of them. I've got four now, so two swallowed it, and two were only lipped. Um, all right, I'm gonna download a video editor and put these five clips together. All right, cheers, guys. Here's another tip: what to do? There's a branch there, so I've got that one on the floor. With the line going out on the no foot out, so you see, and then this one here, I've got it over that branch, it's actually getting bites now. So, there you go, see it's bouncing. There we go, so there's a bit of action on that one. All right, um, well, this is video number six now. I'll there we go, I'll um, 
put it down and keep fishing. Before it gets dark, I want to get out of here. It's not going to be fun without a head torch. Over and out.